Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Liege Belgian waffles. These were sent to us from Kristen. Thank you very, very much, Kristen. Uh, she sent us a box from Eastern Standard Provisions, and in the box, we were sent eight of the Liege Belgian waffles. We were sent some French toast sugar, some strawberries and cream gourmet topper. So these are to top your waffles with. And then we were also sent some dark chocolate fudge sauce and peanut butter caramel sauce. So what you do, um, Liege waffles are, they have pearl sugar and they are uh, made with uh, yeast. And so what we, what you want to do is you want, they don't use any preservatives. So when you get them in the mail, you either want to bake them immediately. It, they need to thaw completely, but you need to bake them immediately. Or you can eat it straight out of the package if you want, if, as long as it's room temperature. Or you need to freeze them. Uh, so we are going to bake ours. We have preheated our oven to 425 degrees. And you just want to put it on a piece of parchment paper like this. And like I said, you can eat it just like that. We just think that because we're using uh, the sauces and the sugar, it'll melt better if we heat it up. So you just need to bake these for three to four minutes and then we'll be back. So we have our waffles. You can see them. Um, it's it. This gives some of the same information that I already gave you. Fully thaw your Liege Belgian, Belgian waffles if you'd like to enjoy them straight from the package. Uh, we recommend fully thawing your waffles before baking them. If you just can't wait, you can heat them in the oven straight from the freezer. It takes a little longer to bake from frozen and cooking times can vary. To heat, place the waffles on a nonstick baking sheet or parchment paper as the waffles have pearl sugar baked inside them. Please be careful when removing them from the oven as the pearl sugar gets very hot. You know, I can smell the yeast in those. So it says make it even sweeter by adding one of our sweet toppings, which we're going to do. But we want to try it first just plain. Whatever so you is want. this mine? Whatever you want, bro. Okay. You can't smell the yeast on the problem. It mm. says... A three ounce Liege Belgian waffle is 370 calories. I love the texture of that. It's got this crunchiness um, on the outside from the sugar. Hmm, it's really good. That reminds me of something that you have baked homemade. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, absolutely it's good. delicious. Yeah, good flavor to You could eat that by itself with not adding a thing because mm -hmm. there's a little bit of sweetness to it. I could also see just grabbing this and, and eating them. Like right out of the refrigerator yes. and not having to heat them up. No. Oh, I like them heated up. You could do it without heating them yes, up. Yes, absolutely. This is a resealable package and it is French sugar and- French toast sugar. Sorry, French toast sugar. That's what I meant. Uh, three and a half servings per container. Two teaspoons wow. is yeah, two teaspoons is 35 calories. I can smell the, the smell when you open it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, or so this is, this is all for me, right? Or whatever. Just, I just want to make sure that I'm not ruining anything that you're gonna do. No, I'm gonna, no, just here, just sprinkle it on there too. I don't know how you want yours. Perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> and I can knock off extra. Well, I like to dab too. Mm. It's good. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like cinnamon sugar. Yes, but it's like gourmet mm -hmm. cinnamon sugar. That is awesome. It has chunks in it, not big chunks, but like bigger chunk uh, crystals of sugar. Yes. That's phenomenal. It's what, very good. What would be the ultimate is if you had a little um, container of butter, melted butter, Put that over and you could take that uh, the the waffle, dip it in the melted butter, and then dip it in the cinnamon sugar. That'd be too much for me. <laughs> it would not. You know what? I, I wonder if they sell thing. just those packages of sugar because that would be good on just making. Um, 
cinnamon sugar cinnamon toast. toast. Yeah, cinnamon toast. Take, take regular bread, put some butter mm -hmm. on it, put it in the oven with that spring on top. That's excellent. That's terrific. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's. But they give you, you know, these are big packages. You're only seeing two waffles here. But remember, eight waffles came From, in the box. In the gift set. Yes. So this is the strawberries and cream gourmet topper, and it is one table. Uh, sorry, one teaspoon. Wow. One teaspoon is 110 calories. Well, wow. must have a lot of sugar in. Okay. Do you want? Are these you the ones for? Okay. Go for it. Oh, that's like pure sugar. Yes, that's. I mean, that's like literally sugar. It smells good. In this mode. Kind of reminds me of uh, strawberry milk mix, like the Nesquik, Nesquik. It's just like if you've ever had the Nesquik powder, it's just like that powder, but you're just not putting it in milk. Mm -hmm. And I think it has a little bit more sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's mainly sugar. Not quite as good as French toast, but it was. it is very good. No, the French toast is better mm -hmm. because... But that cinnamon is like a really good strong flavor. If I can get a picture at the end of the video of just the French toast, um, it won't be on the waffle, but just on the plate, I'm going to do that because, and I'll do the strawberries, uh, strawberries and cream as well, but I want you to see how coarse this is. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, you it's have, bigger sugar. You have regular salt and a coarse salt. Well, this is coarse cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really excellent. Good. It's phenomenal. The the strawberries and cream is great too, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't have that punch of flavor like that French no. toast does. So let's try the dark chocolate fudge sauce first. It is. It says refrigerate after opening. Two tablespoons is 130 calories. And I did uh, loosen the lid. We wanted to see how thick it was. To yeah. Be honest with you. <laughs> and it is thick enough to spread. Yeah. So it says dip. So yeah, it just, says a dipping sauce, this, that's but fine. it's thick like a Nutella. So I guess you could dip it. Um, so ladylike. Well, those waffles are pretty thick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good, but it definitely is a darker chocolate. I love that. You know mm -hmm. what I love about waffles? Is they have these big divots in there. That you can fill with you whatever. Can fill with stuff. <laughs> and I like to fill it with stuff. Yeah. I love that. It's very, very good. Still not as good as the French touch, but it's still good. <laughs> it, um, the, the texture and everything mm -hmm. reminds you of Nutella. It's very, very sweet, except it's in chocolate form. It's, it's all dark chocolate. But I don't think it's bitter. No, it doesn't come across as bitter. It is a strong chocolate flavor though. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, it, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I don't know of anyone that would not like that. No, it's very, very good. Um, this is the... That'd be good on ice cream too, just to let you know. Oh, it would? If you have extra leftover after your waffles, just pour it over ice cream. Yes, that would be delicious. This is peanut butter caramel sauce. Yeah, I'm interested in this one. It is uh, two tablespoons is 160 calories. Definitely not low calorie. No, None no. of this is. No. But this is very, this is thick. Um, what would you say that looks like? Um, like an ice cream sauce, honestly. Yeah. It looks like something you would pour over ice cream. Wow. That's good. I've oh. talked about my dad. I don't think I've ever had anything. Oh, you want that? Too? That's what I'm doing. Um, I don't I think I've ever had anything like this. I've said before, my dad used to, and if you don't watch all our videos, you've never heard this before. My dad used to make peanut butter and pancake syrup, like regular old pancake syrup. Mix them up and just eat it, or eat it with a Ritz cracker. That tastes like the concoction that he used to make. That would be good on a Ritz cracker. That's why I said he dipped it in. Oh, he dipped it in a Ritz cracker. He would either. Oh, you said pancakes are up and oh, and then he put it on a rich cracker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or just eat with a spoon. 
Yeah, I, I, I think I need to. Get I more? I think I need to go again. Um, all of this is excellent. Out of the bun, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn down any of it, truth be told. The lightest flavor is probably the strawberries and cream, but it should be. It's a strawberries and cream, it's, it's a lighter flavor. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite too, though, is by far the French toast and the um, that peanut butter caramel, which I'm telling you, peanut butter and pancake syrup, you can make that same flavor at home. Um, I've, I've not had anything like this, and the, the texture of it, it's like, um, it's thick. It's, it's so, thick. so it's like, um, but to look at it, it looks, uh, it's almost like a preserves, but it's, it's, it's really, really thick. It's that peanut butter and, and you really do taste the caramel, but mm -hmm. it's, it's super, super, super sweet. Now but, can you imagine adding that to vanilla ice cream? Oh gosh, but what makes it better, even even just like this by itself, you could eat this straight out of the jar with a spoon, but what makes it even better is to put it on those waffles and you're still getting that pearl sugar. Mm -hmm. So you're getting those pieces, those big pieces of that sugar. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. This is my favorite thing, I mean, but as far as a topping, so if I had to choose a topping, you have four choices. Uh, the peanut butter caramel sauce is gonna be my favorite topping. But I mean, the French toast is, is if you want to use a, a powder uh, to put on top, the French toast is the way to go. But this, they could sell this stuff just by itself. They might. And, and they, yeah, they might. Take some of that, put on your put on your waffle, and then sprinkle the French toast. <laughs> it's even better. Well, I'm glad you did that mm -hmm. because somebody probably would have asked. Oh, it's good. And what is it like with the chocolate and the... the I didn't try the chocolate. Yeah, but um, I'm sure that would be delicious. Too. I am telling you though, I mean, it's excellent. I would buy that. Um, however, if you do want a version you can make at home, peanut butter and pancakes are... Um, this is terrific. Kristen said that she sent us this to us because it was on Oprah's favorite things list. I can um, understand why. I, I've never looked at a list of Oprah's favorite things, so I had no idea this existed. Mm. I had never heard of Eastern Standard Provisions. I had never heard of the company before. So I want to thank Kristen very, very much for sending this to us. I have a no idea how much it cost her. No, but, it doesn't list the cost. No, it did not. But I will go to their website and I will link it below so that if you want to go there and look around, you can. Um, apparently, they uh, do pretzels too. They make gourmet the pretzels. Look really good. Pretzels, yeah, they're they're huge pretzels. Uh, but this is absolutely fantastic. And the great thing is, is we have six more waffles mm -hmm. in the freezer. There's plenty of topping to put on. Yes, yes. This is just absolutely uh, terrific. This would make a good gift to mail to someone. Yes, if they're would. If they're like, you've got a relative in a different state or whatever, and you don't get to see them very often, mm -hmm. this would be a neat gift to mail to them, to ship to them uh, at their house. Because I think, unless they just don't like sweets, I can't imagine anybody not liking this. No, this, this will definitely uh, go under our favorite things. Oh yeah, it's yeah. excellent. Yeah, Eas easily go under our favorite things, especially this right mm -hmm. here. <laughs> so thank you very much uh, to Kristen. If anyone else has ever uh, tried these, please let us know your thoughts, and thanks for watching.